Month this conference will now be recorded. Yeah, it's fine. Continue. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, doctor. The thing is that uh, my GP was evaluating me because I was not having uh, my lenses uh, for 14 months and he has done some hormone tests, etc. and discussed with me. I basically mm -hmm. wanted to know, uh, you know, what, how I can go ahead and uh, have a pregnancy. Uh, I'm uh -huh. very worried about that. Shall I know about your concerns and the expectations? Out of this consultation today, Carol? Yeah, I basically want to know uh, more about mm. how I can go ahead with the mm. pregnancy and the, okay. what are my options and if there is something more I need to do. Okay. Yeah. Please tell me about your condition so far, this 14 months, what, uh, how it happened before that, how how was your periods? Please tell me uh, your my, own uh, My uh, periods have been irregular uh, since the time, three years ago, when I stopped my oral contraceptive mm. pills. I was on the pill oh. and I was completely fine. But the, oh. since three years, I've been wanting to, you know, have a pregnancy. And what has happened mm -hmm. is uh, they became mm -hmm. more and more irregular. I blame the pill. Oh. But mm -hmm. um, now for the past uh, 14 months, I didn't get any. Uh, I really got concerned how I will conceive. And for three years, mm -hmm. I didn't conceive. So I went to the GP, wherein oh. he did these tests for me mm -hmm. and uh, told me about my condition, yes. Okay. Have you ever been... Uh, diagnosed with the polycystic ovarian syndrome? No, no. Mm -hmm, no. Uh, mm. Have you ever been pregnant before? Uh, no, I've never been pregnant. Okay. Uh, are you up to date with cervical screening? Yes, I am. It's always been. Okay. okay. Um, have you been. Tra uh, sorry, shall I ask you some intrusive questions? Yeah, sure. No problem. Uh -huh. Have you ever been treated for any sexually shared infections? No, never. Oh, okay. Uh, do you have any, uh, one more thing. Do you have any difficulty in having sex? Well, yeah. The, now recently I've been having some uh, dryness and it's been mm -hmm. painful. But otherwise, no problem oh, at all. Sorry to hear. It is treatable. Do not worry. You'll be offered this vaginal uh, yeah. uh, female hormone cream that is estrogen cream. That will be helping mm -hmm. you. Do not worry. And I yeah, want no. to know, um, what is the partner reaction? Is he uh, very angry with you? Angry? No, not at all. He is very supportive. Okay. And, uh, so yeah. good. Good to hear. Okay. Do you have any sleeplessness or any body pain, joint pain like that? Any any other symptoms you have? I am a little irritable, uh, but mm. other than that, nothing. Mm. Or do you have any mood swings like that? Yeah, sorry to hear. No, mm -hmm. not just irritability, oh. a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, well, do you have any medical condition for which you are treated by GP, like diabetes or thyroid problem or any anemia? No. Oh, no. no. Uh, are you allergic uh, to any medication or any substance? No. Any past history of clots or any... Mm. Uh -huh. uh, no family strip clots no okay any past history of surgery or any radiation no surgery uh, no okay. surgery no any, radiation uh, no 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 okay any family history of uh, migraine or personal history of migraine any family history of cancer no, no, like no, no. breast okay okay um, oh your mother at what time she attained at, at what age she attained menopause your mother uh, around 51 years Okay. Um, do, do you smoke? No, I don't smoke. Any alcohol? Uh, no, I don't drink. No. Pardon me? Any recreational drugs? No, not at all. Your weight height ratio? Uh, it's 23. Okay. Do you feel down depressed for the past four weeks? No. Okay. Not uh, any I'll... particularly, okay. but this has been a bothersome yeah. thing for me oh. uh, okay. as such. You know? Uh, so, you'll be offered a referral to psychological counselors. They are talking to them, will give you some comfort. So, mm -hmm. I want to examine you in presence of chaplain with your consent. The specialist nurse will record the blood pressure, heart rate, and temperature. I have verified your uh, the hormone reports uh, with your name, age, and uh, NHS number. It belongs to you. Um, yeah, doctor. Are you alone? Uh, do you want to have your partner with you? Mm. No, no, I, I want to know about the pregnancy mm. option. It is, uh, I, I really, I am sorry to have a 
uh, difficult news for you. Mm, it shows mm -hmm. that uh, the hormones from the brain, they are at mm -hmm. higher level. Whether, uh, do you know that uh, whether this has been taken at the interval of yeah. four to six weeks? Oh. Okay. Oh, well, doctor, actually, uh, yeah, you're talking about the hormone uh, levels, etc. My GP has explained to me what it is, and I know oh. that uh, my oh. ovaries have, like, uh, are not You know the, oh, you yeah, know everything. Yeah. Okay. So, I just wanted to know this... about my well, options of conceiving. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. For a conception with this, uh, a woman with this condition, this, yeah, as you know, the diagnosis is called premature ovarian insufficiency. This mm -hmm. woman in this condition, 5% of them can get pregnant on their own. But uh, whether to wait for at this age, it is uh, you have to decide about that. It is better that your care will be under the group of consultants, I mean, group of uh, specialists, including my consultant, specialist, nurse, the physician, the pain doctor, the hormone doctor, and the menopause specialist, and the, uh, the infertility specialist, psychological counselors, and support groups also. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll be offered the option of uh, the you'll be referred to the fertility specialist after running some viral screening tests for you and your partner, and she'll offer even thyroid function tests and the uh, uh, diabetes screening. Everything they'll be doing after that, you'll be offered uh, a treatment called uh, ovum egg donation. That is, you can okay. have the egg donated from another woman who has been screened for viral infection, everything. That egg will be made to unite with your partner's sperm, if you're willing, mm -hmm. in the lab. Mm -hmm. And that will be, that uh, embryo will be grown in the lab. And up, uh, it will be inserted in, into your transparent, into your well-prepared womb. This is one way that you can become pregnant. If you're against that, there is other options of adoption like that or there. No, mm. no, I'm not against uh, anything. I just wanted to have more information. Mm. Is there, like, is yeah. it how, how safe it is for me and to go through if I need any more tests and things like that? Uh, the this is uh, 25 units and 44. This itself shows that it is a premature insufficiency, and you can go mm -hmm. for if the egg reserve will be very low. After that, only these hormones go to this level. So the mm -hmm. best option will be the, it will be decided by the fertility specialist. I'll be referring to you, to her, her to you to her so that she'll be offering the options. This will be the better option, I think, as far as I know, as far as the okay. guidelines say. Okay. Um, as I the do egg have a sister uh, who is uh, 35 and uh, she was really, I have dis we've discussed this and uh, she would be and willing then, to get the egg. Yeah. Uh, then uh, you'll be offered for this other uh, complaints. You'll have this for a very irritability and all this. There are some treatments that are available. That is the first is the lifestyle modification, to, uh, reducing your weight, reducing stress, and the caffeine intake, and uh, this uh, mm -hmm. cognitive behavioral therapy is there. Talking therapy with the um, psychological counselors and having some heavy exercises like uh, there's a high uh, something called a yoga, special yoga will be there. Mm -hmm. All this will mm -hmm. give you a good effort, uh, good effect in your condition. And then you'll be advised to have calcium and vitamin D and some aroma therapy, then acute pressure and so many complications. No, I understand all of that. I just wanted to know about my pregnancy with the with the test tube baby. Is there any problems okay. that I might face? Uh -huh. Uh, yeah. at, this, at this age, there is a chance of you having, um, you have to be off, you will be, once you get pregnant, you will be offered a treatment in the cons uh, consultant-led unit and you will be offered, before getting conceived, you will be offered a, uh, please tell me about your uh, weight to height ratio, I have forgotten, sorry. No, 23, 23. 23, okay. You will be offered a folic acid uh, from mm -hmm. three months before start, starting conception. After that, your room will be prepared and they will, the in vitro fertilization, that is the baby mm -hmm. will be kept inside. You will be given progesterone tablets also. Mm -hmm. Okay, time up. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I, ma I wanted to tell about uh, the risk of uh, having uh, multiple pregnancy and uh, ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. 
a risk of you developing gdm or oh, her and why would she have multiple pregnancy in ohs ivf ma'am she, she ivf ma'am but it's not her egg na no? it's a donor oh, okay ma'am okay and then you know if you try to stimulate her ovaries you barely get any juice out of mm. them okay yeah? oh, oh. that she, she doesn't have and, a reserve eh? mm, progesterone has to be given no, ma'am and mm mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm okay. Okay. Progesterone will be given up to eight weeks. Okay, ma'am, and she'll be offered okay. down screening and all, ma'am. I wanted to tell, but mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I was uh, going here and there. I was not able to come to the exact point. You asked only about pregnancy, but I whether to I have to uh, uh, talk about the complaints of this irritability. I do not know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted to tell about hormone replacement therapy also, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Okay, ma'am. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, ma'am. Let's listen from the bystanders who are uh, listening to the station. If anybody can highlight what was the major uh, reason why there was a, um, you know, errors in the station. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's uh, hear from Arti. Arti, are you there? <clears throat> Dr. Arti, Dr. Preeti, there are some new people here. Hello, Dr. Bin, Geeta. Jini Yeah Dr Uma yes. I just have a few mm. uh, uh, questions regarding this in the history mm. we need to take a, a detailed history of our past medical history drug history and uh, as to find out the cause of a premature ovarian insufficiency and uh, uh, and I think uh, that is relevant and do we need to ask about uh, like a genetic condition like uh, uh, this learning disabilities uh, that uh, i'm not okay. getting that name mm-hmm. that fragile x syndrome yeah, fragile x. Okay. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. do we have to ask about that in the history and uh, no no you can specifically ask but most of uh, uh, fragile x women will be pre-mutations who will be asymptomatic yeah so unless yeah, you yeah. do a testing you are not going to find out but that's not essentially what is wrong in the performance of this patient i'm not talking about ma'am uh, uh, ma'am the value of fsh ma'am is it 25 or more than 25 ma'am and i had a doubt ma'am it was 25 and after that like 6 weeks within after 6 weeks uh, mm. correlating with the patient's symptoms of uh, going through the changes and uh, mm. also having amenorrhea for the past 14 months which is over mm. a year right and ma'am, uh, i had to do a uh, Mm. Ma'am, I have to do a DVS, ma'am, for any not thickening. Really, of... Essentially, no. no, 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 not essentially, no. See, ma'am, uh, no. you're getting a uh, lot confused with uh, yeah, over here, and uh, you know all of these sort of things. Like for instance, uh, suddenly you asked me past history where I was detected with the PCO, and uh, mm. now uh, that is what is causing irregularity or not. See, when you have been given a diagnosis which is already mm. there in front. Mm. Uh, okay. by in terms of your uh, evaluation and investigations are already provided and through the investigations you know the woman's diagnosis and okay. the history mm-hmm. has to be targeted mm-hmm. to uh, only that mm-hmm. condition and not the general history of uh, oh. oligomenorrhea mm-hmm. okay okay but okay the ma'am. first and foremost thing first and mm-hmm. foremost thing was you asked me in general what are your ideas concerns expectation okay and i told you i'm here to try you know understand my fertility options mm, this was not, not told... a breaking bad okay. news this this is not a breaking bad news station okay, at all okay mm. yes, I ma'am. Knew my, yeah so mm, that's mm. where a lot of your time got wasted you were mm. uh, i think uh, wavering all over the place yes, that ma'am. is not to be done it has it is very mm. specific you know so mm. see i know that what has been drilled in your mind by so many people taking the same station over the past so many 4 5 years you're doing poi in a standard format yes ma'am but you're right you have to evaluate each station yeah. for what it is mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. go with an open mind you can't think okay i know this i have done this like this i know this i'm mm-hmm. going to do bbn and then i will tell these four points of uh, mm-hmm. i'm going to tell her about contraception I'll tell her about HRT. Mm. I'll tell her about uh, mm. her yes, fertility ma'am. options in one life, <laughs> and then lastly, I'll tell her this. But it doesn't work that way because she has come to you asking mm. 
uh, she knows the diagnosis your uh. history at the most can go to uh, at the most your history may go to uh, looking at etiological factors so you will tell her like mm. uh, are you having any medical uh, conditions like mm-hmm. uh, autoimmune related mm. which has been already diagnosed uh, mm. or uh, have you received uh, uh, and sign post before this particular question okay sign post ah. before asking chemotherapy radiotherapy when some uh, questions oh, okay. may be able to explain uh, may be mm. able to make me understand your uh, re- re- reason why this has happened to you and mm. then ask like uh, have you had any treatment like radiation or uh, mm. chemotherapy in the past or something like that and mm. Uh, mm. Okay. Okay. So, sorry. Somebody is unmuted. Okay. Yeah. Bhavna, Bhavna, there is somebody by name Bhavna who is unmuted. So the this, BBN is the big... Uh, yes, this is not the same station. Not. It, it, just, it looks the same. Just because it reads the template is there. You can't go mm-hmm. in and assume that this, this is going to be the same role mm-hmm. here with the same questions and everything. is going to hmm. be and they will react the way you do because you practice okay. with this partner of yours no it doesn't work like hmm. that okay? okay go with an open mind is again and again i say this now let's look hmm. when you if you had seen this station very objectively and without hmm. any bias in your mind you would have noticed hmm. that this uh the uh, chit or the, this referral letter is to the consultant so you have to inter- while doing an introduction you have to tell her that uh i am uh, dr manikam i'm uh, one of the, the doctors here today i apologize my consultant isn't here i know that uh-huh. you have been referred for a consultant but i see either if the role player mentions i'm here to see consultant or letter mentions to two consultant mm. or the question mm. mentions to consultant all three of these scenarios you have to be very uh, vigilant uh-huh. about read the scenarios properly and plan mm. your introduction properly do not okay. keep biases in your mind ki this is how i'm mm. going to do the station you go in mm. and mm. you ask her what are your expectations today so very naturally as a, mm. a smart role player i have this thing that i can't give the station away i will tell you that mm. i'm here to plan my fertility option which is mm. what i'm mm. here for you have mm. to ask a very pointed questions ki uh, this gp has run this test has anything been discussed with you Mm. at that point yes, of time mm. i will be, be able to tell you if uh, you know how much awareness i have about my condition what do i know about mm. it so i would have told you like i'm pretty much aware mm. that this uh, mm. is uh, mm. my ovaries have stopped functioning gp discussed this with me but beyond that mm. he told me to seek help because i'm trying to conceive that's the mm. point at which i have come to see you okay mm. Mm. you understand oh. mm. so uh, targeted uh, history has to be very short in this uh, scenario mm, it has mm. to be targeted to looking for causes of the poi including you asked family when did your mom had mm. so that was fine then mm. uh, radiation and this mm. then uh, relating to the symptoms of uh, poi are you experiencing any hot flashes and irritability how is this mm. affecting your general uh, you know quality, quality of, of life, life. Mm. okay that okay, okay. and uh, sexual you asked me you signed posted also impressive mm. um menstrual mm. also that was the main complaint so you asked about mm. that okay so that mm. was all fine. but i was okay with answering all these questions the reason was because i knew i am having these that discussion has already taken place mm. i have a mm. lot of awareness and then mm. at three minutes you are supposed to move to the next bit which oh. is i understand you want to un- know your fertility option so then mm. tell her she is also aware about the ivf option by the way meaning she knows about it she, mm. what she was asking you what was i asking you repeatedly can somebody tell me what that question was i wanted to know how to go about my pregnancy what care will i need what uh, additional precautions and uh, tests do i need that was my question Mama, I said viral screening test will be done for you. How? Huh? Huh? What is? Uh, oh, the for the. Uh, mm. Mm. And, uh, then I then I even mentioned another be... thing. There was mm. another thing which I hinted to you that I I said I have a sister who's thirty five, and mm. she's uh, also looking to donate egg for me. Is there oh. anything in that age? 
okay you ma'am. can think of now see mm. all your applied clinical knowledge all your patient safety in this particular mm. station because role player had only one very specific concern was about this mm. particular thing okay uh, mm. was the fertility so i was going to then ask you like what are the with this ivf what are my chances how is the pregnancy going to be cared for and things like that mm. that mm. was applied clinical knowledge and mm. that was patient safety mm. apart from your standard things like we will put you on um. hrp we will mm. you your chance mm. of conceiving spontaneously is about 5% 5% yes ma'am 30% chance What? of uh, conception is there with the ivf ma'am ivf yes yes mm. Mm. so mm. Uh, all this discussion it, it was mm. like you were um, very stubborn and not ready to leave that template which is there in your mind and go Sorry, something mm. at all mm. no there is no need to apologize basically what i'm mm. trying to say is when mm. this and i think yesterday is this is the thing okay that that role play mm. was not at all she was already aware about her diagnosis mm. it looked like poi and a lot of people performed it like a bbn poi but it was mm. not okay oh. and this is mm. exactly what happens in exams while uh, people perform stations and then they come back and ask us we we did this and we had done this and we mentioned all of mm. these points and we were so happy mm. and mm. then the result is something else so you mm. have to be careful because of that yes. okay now go back mm. to the poi uh, the the ashri guidelines and go through it mm. again okay mm. what mm. your advice has to be to her is of course right now we mm. are going to look at you in a multidisciplinary team first mm. okay and we mm. will in, involve an endocrinologist the fertility specialist counselors mm. because uh, mm. mood is an issue and mm. she can this very distressing chronic condition it can be mm-hmm. right okay? so mm. uh, you have to tell all these things and then you have to say uh, what you, tests you will need to do now so we have to rule out certain genetic uh, conditions so we'll say you don't need to go into mm. details of that mm. so like you will say there are genetic mm. conditions which uh, mm. geneticists you will be referred to they will discuss it to you in detail and you will be okay. evaluated mm. for the same so there are many like the mm. by chromosome that thing is there mm. fragile like pre mutations are there then turners are mm. very far fetched here turners is not likely mm. but all mm. these are genetic so you can say genetic with geneticist counselor that mm. way mm. and we mm. will uh, rule out your autoimmune disease Uh, disorders mm. with thyroid and adrenal antibodies will be done to evaluate mm. exactly why you are having this uh, condition mm. which we call as POI because she didn't clearly she didn't have family history now mm. uh, next uh, you are going to uh, the the management bit the first uh, thing in that was the mdt then you nicely mentioned about the bp and uh, again kidney function tests are essential here okay so read mm. ashri again read ashri again mm. you will see that anybody mm. who is planning a pregnancy it is a poi has to have the basic evaluations including blood pressure renal function tests immunity to rubella starting her on folic acid okay mm. and in case mm. of high bmi optimization of the bmi okay this mm. is all given mm. in one under one mm. roof in mm. okay mm. now uh, then, mm. then again uh, there are some things i would like to ask you about your history but i'll come to that later let me finish this bit first okay mm-hmm. uh next uh, when she mentions about this ivf with ovum donation right so as mm-hmm. you rightly said that uh, unlikely that we will be able to um use or utilize or be able to obtain eggs from her as well okay uh, mm-hmm. so because of the aging the quality of the eggs is also not going to be optimal uh mm. with this even if you obtain something with stimulation so it's not done it's not something mm. which is done so she's going to have to have uh, oocyte donation okay mm. uh, there are two kinds so which is altruistic and there are known donors but uh, when you are donating with your sisters for instance if she is thinking of mm. that then again mm. there is a very there is a higher chance there is almost a five fold increased risk of cycle cancellation with that Mm-hmm. so you have to tell her that okay ma'am okay with, with mm. uh, test your baby with uh, her because uh, there is mm. genetic homogeneity between her and the sister 
okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that adds to the cycle cancellation risk but yes if pregnancy implants that is going to be uh, just like a pregnancy with a mm. uh, with a altruistic donor right unknown mm. unrelated donor also mm-hmm. uh second is uh, sex steroid replacement therapies will need to be done okay and the best uh-huh. way of this is transdermal estradiol with a vaginal pres- uh, progesterone which she will have to be put on and that is to make the uh, uterine environment more conducive and non hostile yeah mm. for yes, the thing. and then uh, you have to tell her that uh, when when she has her test tube baby even with uh, this in a poi woman the obstetric risks are high and there is almost uh, the you know, 40% risk of a miscarriage there is a uh, pregnancy induced hypertension in 22% don't remember mm-hmm. the percentage i am telling you for your benefit there is likelihood of prematurity low birth weight okay uh, yeah. almost about 13% can be premature and sg is uh, maybe the mm-hmm. increased chance mm-hmm. of uh, needing a cesarean section and mm-hmm. postpartum mm-hmm. hemorrhage risk is also higher in them mm-hmm. all right so these are some of the things you need to tell in terms of pregnancy mm-hmm. she was asking you specifically what is my pregnancy okay Mm. Uh, it, what is likely to happen during my pregnancy so even if mm. she has this so you have to say that oh, it looks like uh, from your mm. history because she's a non smoker bmi is optimal never had a, a pregnancy doesn't have living children which you should ask me she and her partner either of them have kids uh, father okay, father so children yes, yeah. that is an important okay, mm. very, parented children for the mm. ivf criteria business okay mm. Mm. so if that mm. is there then you could say yes of course you can receive funding if mm. there is any criteria in any station okay which mm. is like mm. uh, you she will not be able to receive funding mm. then mm. you have to talk about reproductive tourism in that station but if funding mm. is available you may not mm. then again mm. uh, now nowadays in the uk spain is becoming a very a uh, famous uh, destination for reproductive tourism and a lot mm. of people do in tend to you know go there and get it done mm. Mm. so that's there but uh, uh, yeah because the of the longer waiting lists as well in the fertility clinics this this is another reason why it is okay? mm. so yeah so there was i uh, about yes, the sir. ivf ivf criteria mm. always ensure mm. before answering the question about funding even mm. if you've not if you've missed out any questions there in history taking and she asked you mm. this am i funded you have to mm. say no uh, mm. the may i ask you if uh, either of you have parented uh, children or living kids before and then say mm. okay your partners uh, you know a non smoker as well right yes you do mm. qualify mm. for uh, mm. the, the funding and uh, we can offer you these many cycles and so on and so forth okay mm. so yeah then there will be okay success rate of the ivf is about uh, 33% that is the same as in any ivf that you are doing mm. but mm. with uh, the sister's egg it is five fold increase risk of the cancellations of cycles with even uh, that mm. thing has to be considered by you hmm? yes ma'am what else is there is there anything else you need to warn her i'm down screening ah you mentioned all these things down screening yes, this that mm. down screening will be done in uh, uh, what will be her risk oh, the the it will depend only on the egg donor's uh, chromosomal makeup now ma'am okay yeah 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 mm. exactly so yes, it is dependent yes. on the risk for down syndrome is not like particularly high or if the it will depend on the uh, the screening after offered to her mm. it will de- depend yes, on the age yes, of uh, which right, donor said, yes. yeah mm. that that's fine and you have to mm. tell her about sir uh, mm. yeah one second and dr geeta i'll come back to that and uh, mm, yeah so basically now just on mm. the station this lady came to ask you i have poi okay i know my mm. eggs are not mm. my ovaries are not working they're not producing eggs how mm. do i conceive with the test tube baby what do i need to watch out for what tests will be done before that like that she wanted to know so you have mm. to tell her now uh, antenatal care throughout pregnancy right which you have mm. to say in uh, general what it will be now read again uh, 
the in the ashri guideline they have mentioned that although nice does not say poi is one of the reasons for giving aspirin Hmm. it can be considered in these women because they are a high risk for pih hmm. especially when like this will be her first pregnancy and poi hmm. uh, ivf hmm. puts her at a higher risk <coughs> sorry about uh, of pih hmm. and therefore from 12 weeks it hmm. has to be considered so there's one hmm. additional point uh, hmm. additionally you will be monitored in uh, consultant led units throughout the pregnancy your care will be again multi disciplinary with all mm. your other people's inputs will be taken as and when necessary mm. and uh, increase uh, follow up uh, re- rigorous uh, blood pressure monitoring sga monitoring yeah all these things mm. and importantly yes. need all this need for cesarean mm. also is increased mm. so your delivery also will be planned in around consultant led unit and mm. uh, that will be uh, done accordingly if you can have a normal delivery that unless you have any mm. other reason it can mm. be offered that way all that you needed to discuss okay what mm. else can anybody pick up for details that is missing now agenda agenda time you mentioned about that that thing which i had hidden there which was that uh, i am having some dryness so there and there you tackled it that was good mm. no problems at all so that one bit is done so i'm not mm. yes uh, people okay yeah so you know your basic standard points about hrt correct so you are yes, going ma'am. to need hormone replacement therapy for the protection of your bone brain uh, heart in the future so that mm. you don't develop this uh, problems with early uh, menopause mm. uh, and uh, after this also uh, in cases where you know the reason for uh the stopping of ovarian function is not known uh, there is a 5% chance that uh, you may conceive spontaneously mm. as well so contraception has to be followed yes, and contraception is con- yeah you have mm. to use contraception that is after all this fertility thing is over mm. Mm. and uh, th- that that will be a cherry on the cake kind of a thing so uh and uh, of course uh, you have to talk about she mentioned her sister is there and there mm. is a unknown uh, as of now not well studied risk okay of the same condition running in family members as well mm. yeah mm. so you have to uh, tell that she would also have to visit a counselor specifically there are no tests to determine whether she may have the same or not but she has to talk we'll arrange a meeting with the consultant to see mm. it is ideally advised to for her to try and complete family earlier right or go for something like a preservation because mm. it, there is a risk that this can happen and cannot be very accurately detected with screening tests as of now mm. yeah so because yes. of that particular reason you need to uh, give that warning that is an additional patient safety related point here okay then you give mm-hmm. her your support groups and your counselor what not which you are used to doing otherwise mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. so um, yeah so the relatives of the non hydrogenic premature ovarian insufficiency mm-hmm. who are concerned about their risk should be informed that there is no proven uh, predictive tests there is no established mm-hmm. pomp preventing measures also mm-hmm. all right and commencing studies are not there but they Uh, because of the potential risk of earlier menopause we can uh, account when family uh, planning a family mm. again cherry on the cake kind of but at least the basics about the the fertility option and the pregnancy related to uh, conceiving after ivf poi mm. mm-hmm. you have to talk about that that was mainly where we were marking you on applied mm. clinical and patient safety points yes mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Right. All right. Doctor Geeta, she, uh, yes, surrogacy can, can be an option, and she did say also surrogacy and uh, adoption. These are two options you can speak of. But see, this role player was trying to talk to you about how she should conceive with IVF. That was her main thing, wasn't it? So when you are catering to uh, Doctor Geeta, there is disturbance. Yeah. Mm-hmm.
understand. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of disturbance. Okay. Yeah. So, anybody having any questions at this point of time? Well, can, can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Manikam, for that presenting well. Now, I want to just add a quick question because um, before you mentioned um, her trying to do break a bad news and the um, and before you made a correction, if a, if a candidate maybe does breaking bad news in this kind of station and still mm -hmm. touches mm -hmm. up let's say most of the parts, will that candidate miss this station or, or what? Uh, no, that candidate will not miss the station. Uh, that's ba basically uh, what is happening is the only area where you are miss out is situational awareness, right? You had to ask, find out where the patient is at. Okay. And this is a very important information gathering point asking, uh, what do you know? And starting from there, which again, we treat, we teach this in the very basics when people start preparing. Those are the ones, some of the first few principles that are taught in history taking is to ask, where are you at? And then start the explanation from there. If you do not do that, uh, covering all these other points in the station, uh, are, you're not going to be left with enough time for it. So that may be one of the factors which will affect it. Uh, you may not completely uh, fail the station, but yes, the impression is overall, you know, that you've missed out on a, on a big thing in the information gathering. So, yes, that's going to affect your scoring somewhere at least. But if you manage to mention and you manage to still say uh, and answer all her concerns about the pregnancy and tell her what is the care needed, et cetera, et cetera, and nicely able to, you know, cover all the rest of the things, then it should not affect your patient safety and apply clinical points at all. It should not affect. Should not affect. Asked, ma'am, uh, what do you okay. know? Uh, has anybody uh, discussed the report with you? Like, I, I should have asked you, ma'am. Hmm? That should have been hmm. better approach. That is to be asked in every station. Okay, ma'am. Not yeah. You didn't ask mm. it, and you guys are forgetting basics because you all are practicing revised station so many mm. times. Yes, ma'am. You're like, no, no. This station is like this. I'm going to do yeah. this only. Mm. No. After burning the fingers only, I have uh, mm. <laughs> learned this. That's Thank you, ma'am. Burn your finger. Burn your yes, fingers here rather than in the exam. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah. No issues. Okay, good having everybody here. So we'll take uh, like these live stations or uh, sessions or more often now. Okay, so and uh, to uh, the next time uh, we will not be sending these uh, links on the group. So please be on the, it will come to you via the email. So if you are in that list, okay, that will always be better. All right, okay, guys, nice. uh, thanks for joining in. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> thank yeah. you. Bye. 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 Take care.